Hello and welcome to this North Stowe Arts video. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a lantern from a four pint milk bottle. These lanterns you can then bring along for the lantern parade at the light switch on at North Stowe on the 4th of December. I hope you enjoy it. Okay for doing this milk bottle lantern you're going to need a four pint milk bottle, plastic one, the tissue paper, black paper and some PVA glue that will be in a little pot in the materials pack. Um, a tub is is helpful um, to because we're going to mix the PVA glue with some water, uh, a paintbrush, a, a pen, does, you don't have to have this, you don't necessarily need the pen, and a pair of scissors. Okay, so we're going to start with the Sharpie, just marking out an edge for our lantern, because we need to be able to get down inside to do our decorating. We're going to trim this front part of the bottle away, like that. And then we're going to take a pair of scissors, be careful trimming this. And just take just go in your recycling as normal. So the idea of this is to leave the handle so that you've got a way of carrying your lantern around with you. Okay, so we now have our tissue paper and we're just going to tear this up. little squares well they're not too little uh, probably what's that? probably about hand size they don't have to be particularly neat And we just need enough to cover the inside of our bottle. some PVA glue in the kit um, if you collect one of the kits for doing the lanterns. Um, you don't need a lot, it will only be a small amount in a little one of those little jars. And we're just going to pop a bit into our tub. to add some water into that. Now you can see the kind of ratios this there's probably five or six times the amount of water to the PVA glue. And then we're going to give this a mix. If you happen to have something like Mod Podge or um, one of the decoupage um, glues, they work really well for doing this as well. There we go. Okay. And then 
And we're just going to put this all over the sides on the inside of our bottle. Try not to layer the tissue paper too thickly, otherwise um, the light will have some problems getting out of your lantern. It'll look very dim. you've got some in there you can go back in with the watered down PVA and stick the tissue paper in. You can see how where it overlaps and where there's gaps. You can see different patterns through. You can use this with the tissue paper if you want um, and create patterns with the paper. do the bottom of your lantern as well if you want um, or you can leave that white it's up to you sometimes help to dab um, rather than try and brush the surface with the tissue paper as it's quite delicate um, especially when it's wet So the inside is now entirely, oh, I missed a bit, a little bit there, um, covered with the tissue paper. So now we need to set this aside to dry off a little bit and work on what our decoration is going to be on the inside. So we have a sheet of black paper. 
um, and you can do all sorts of whatever patterns you would like um, on the inside of this. Where we put the black paper is where the light is not going to get through, so you're going to have shadows um, on your lantern. So you want to have a think about what kind of pattern you want to make. Um, so this is a winter festival, so I'm going to go with the obvious one and make myself a snowman. So, one, you want to you can draw around um, on the black paper so that you've got something to follow when you're doing your cutting out. snowman shape and I'm going to pop it on this side of my lantern. Now you can put your snowman on the outside if you want or you can put it on the inside. As this is still quite wet on here I'm going to pop it on the inside. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of the blue mixture and then pop my snowman in there and then again go over with the glue making sure everything is well stuck down you can now see, see that kind of snowman shape there so I want another snowman for the other side and then I think I might try and do a snowflake for the front.
There we go. And that's all finished now and just needs to dry out.